everyone. Uh, it is me, Tara Peterson, here at Fortify Farm. And Fortify Farms. I kind of said that very fast. Uh, and if you are new here, which most people probably are, because this is only like my fourth or fifth video. Sorry, I got a little. I don't know what that was. Uh, I am in zone 6B in Missouri and I did a fall garden. This is my first year really doing a fall garden and I'm so glad I did. So if you didn't start a fall garden next year, start a fall garden. And there's a little bit of investment, like you got to get some plastic to really like go into winter um, in some frost, frost fabric. And the recommended, I believe, for plastic is like 6 mil, I think is what they usually recommend. I got some 3 mil from Lowe's, which I need to go get a tiny bit more to finish, and I'll show you in a second. Um, but you need your frost fabric, you need plastic covering. And one thing I learned recently with getting my frost fabric is that if it gets wet it doesn't really do anything so you definitely need some plastic to make sure it stays um, dry-ish so there's that um, I do think and I think that is true I mean I haven't had much experience with fall so that, I mean, take that as it is. This last bit of cold that we had our first frost, I did notice that the one sheets that got a little bit more wet, they didn't keep my plants as warm. But that's just off of one season. So, you know, you got to experiment a little bit more longer than to say something's fully true. But so far, I think it is true. Maybe ones that are more experienced can weigh in on if they have had that experience or not. And yeah, so I have Brussels sprouts. I try to start carrots and I just, I did not. I had like three little sprouts when I planted several sprouts. So I did not have very good success rate. And next year I want to find a better, I don't know, better way of doing it, I don't know. Uh, so we'll, we'll change that. And I meant to start radishes and I didn't, which I was almost thinking maybe I should try. Because, I mean, if we have three days of like 80 degrees, I think they would germinate. And then by the time that frost comes again, hopefully they might be able to start developing. You know first first year of really doing a fall garden so anyways I'll show you guys what is going on it's more green than last time which makes me happy uh, but yeah okay so I'm gonna show you guys what is happening in the fall garden the stuff that's working and I already told you stuff that's not which is the carrots unfortunately because I do like carrots I just don't I feel like eat them enough to purchase them from the store but I really want fresh grown carrots anyways here's a look at what we got going on let me flip you around so over here we got the Brussels sprouts and there's still quite a few of them and I got this tarp over and then I had about five sheets in here so these actually did really well amongst the cold but here they are up close so they're doing pretty darn good I would say I have ones that are doing really well and starting to get the, the actual Brussels sprouts on them which is super exciting so you can kind of see in there that's start of Brussels sprouts 
This one's doing really well. It's really hard to get the detail detail in, but but it's looking real good. So this is the Brussels sprout patch. And then over here I got so I thought this was all rutabagas. And this is actually not. This is I got some cabbage. Or right, this one's this one's a rutabaga. Yeah, this one's a rutabaga. But I got a cabbage right here. And then another cabbage right here. And there's a rutabaga. And then this cabbage is like doing something really funky. It has like three you got three like little shoots off of one plant. Don't know about that. I'm sorry the the sunlight might be a little off and doing it not in the best light. But when you have a baby that naps and then you still gotta make dinner and stuff, it's just the easiest time to do it. But it doesn't make for the best like the best light I would I wish I could do it later but I just can't so we'll do what we got to do right now to make it work right and then in this bed I was supposed to have this was my lettuce bed these are all the frost fabric that I'm gonna take in for those guys and then this is all the frost fabric for all these three uh, and then this one was supposed to be like my salad greens, but my endavi is doing good. And then I had butter crunch, I believe is what I had there. And then shoot off the top of my head. I can't remember this. Um, so maybe somebody else will you know without me having to put the stuff on there, but I will put what this is once I get inside and edit but this took off this is doing real well because I mean it has three sprouts which is pretty I think dang amazing but I still put this on there because of the squirrels the darn squirrels they are just the worst and then I think I meant to put something else there but then I didn't end up planting anything but the squirrels tore up the butter crunch so I didn't actually plant anything in there and then this is these two are supposed to be broccoli and they're not they're not doing too great but I put them on there just because you never know what happens but this guys this is what I'm super excited for this little cabbage right here isn't that just let me zoom in a little better isn't that so cute? Little cabbage forming. And this one's doing a little bit more like upright kind of cabbage. But this is, I'll have to post the variety that I have on it. I know it's a variety for like sauerkraut. I think it's called like Ezekiel something or rather. But. I think it's called like Ezekiel something. Not 1% sure. I'll have to look it up and tell you guys. But I hope I get ahead and I can try sauerkraut. Ooh, that lighting is bad. Okay, and so on the porch, this stuff died a horrible death after the first frost. So my tomatillos and peppers are all done. I need to cut them off at the top so that way they still put nourishment in my soil. And then that's the broccoli that's it's it's not gonna make it but and then on this I don't have anything in there but I did order some seeds and I will put us I think I'm gonna put some asparagus in here next like next time next season of growing because I have been really wanting to try asparagus 
and it's going to take a while. And so I was like, I'm just going to start it. Just going to start it and we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's what I got going on. And I would say for anybody that is on the fence for next year, just try to grow, do it. Um, because I think you'll be happy with it. We as in Missouri and six feet, we have a really long growing season, so I can try it. And most of the stuff peters out in like August here, just cause it gets so, it gets hot and humid, which is not, I mean, it's not a good mix for diseases and stuff like that with blight and everything like that. So, and I noticed too, cause there would be times where we'd have some cooler days. The, the tomatoes also started not tasting as well. And so next year I'm definitely going to do more fall and just kind of cut off my time with uh, summer because I have such a small area. I, I want to give some fall crops a chance, but I do have to sacrifice some summer things, which is, makes me a little sad. I wish I had a huge garden and I can just keep my summer going while I have fall stuff, but I just don't. But, and that's the one downside of being a small gardener is you can't, you don't have that leeway to do that, which kind of sucks at times to be honest. But I mean, I'm still growing food. I'm still providing for my family. I'm still tasting food that tastes amazing compared to some of the store-bought stuff. And so, yeah, but I don't know when I'll post another video exactly. I might post some stuff about getting ready for spring, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I am really hoping this year for Christmas that I get a big like walk-in um, greenhouse to put inside. We have a cat so I can't just like put it on shelves because my cat will eat it. We've had this already happen before. And for those that do have cats and maybe dogs, I don't know, maybe some dog people can hop on here and say, but I know for cats there's quite a few plants that are summer and that are dangerous to them that can actually kill them if they eat enough. And we had that experience happen because our cat threw up white foam. Like she threw up the white foam and something was stinking in our house and we're like, we don't know what's going on. And we found a bunch of white foam behind a couch or some behind something. I don't know. And it was just white and I was like oh no she th our cat threw that up I knew it instantly that she threw that up and I was like man if she ate any more she could have died because she, it was just it was bad it smelled so bad and so just kind of FYI if you have cats probably dogs anything animal related that if you are starting seeds inside, either put them in a room that they're not like allowed to go in or make sure you have some type of cover on them. Uh, Amazon has some uh, shelves with the plastic over it, like a little greenhouse that you're, I think you're meant to put them outside, but you can use them inside. And then they also have some like bigger walk-in ones, which is what I'm really hoping that I get for Christmas. That way next year too I can I can do more like my herbs and stuff like that because I do run out of space with what I have. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good day um, and enjoy seeing some green during, I know some of you are very very cold right now. I know uh, my peeps, my family up in Michigan, they got some snow on Halloween. Which I was like, oh, that brings back memories from when I was a kid and I lived there. But, yeah, anyways, I hope everybody has a good day. And if you're in a cold place, that you get some hot cocoa and you stay warm. And I'm going to enjoy this day wearing flip-flops and shorts in the middle of November. <laughs> Not middle of November, beginning of November. 
here in 6B. Just nuts. Just nuts, guys. But anyways, I think I've said that like five times now. But everybody have a great day and do something that fortifies your soul, whether it be something related to your family or your, something that you're passionate about. Have a great day.